Hello fellow Bantam owners, this is my B175 uh, Just uh, fit, finished fitting a uh, battery warning light come uh, battery monitor charge warning It's, uh, I don't know what colour it looks like it's flashing but it's sort of yellow Don't know where it comes through, like on the camera But uh, the, the regulator rectifiers that we get these days uh, sometimes aren't the most reliable and um, I, I wanted to, I didn't want to fit an amp meter which would not be very practical and I come across this little little light that you might see flashing uh, very neat just looks like uh, a, a, an alarm really a bit a, a bike uh, alarm anti-theft alarm but uh, it's very neat and it just hooks up to the battery permanently and it flashes a uh, well, it goes to different colours. It's either steady or it's flashing. If it's flashing, it's usually warning you something. When you're riding it, if it's flashing, it's usually warning you something. But if all being well, it should be a steady green when you ride it. Um, if it uh, goes on to a yellow when you ride, it's not too bad. It's not putting a huge amount in the battery. But if it's a green, it's charging well. And if it flashes between red and green alternatively it means it's overcharging and it's quite visible when you're riding and they're only 14 pounds something 1450 i think it is from gamatronics <clears throat> yeah gamatronics a very very simple little thing it's just got two wires coming from it a little led and there's a little circuit in, in uh, on the back of it but it's you only need about a 12 or 13 millimeter hole to pass it through there there's two thin wires and they recommend you can continually connect them to your battery and uh, when it's parked in your garage like it is now as long as it keeps flashing green or yellow um, your battery's in a good state of charge it starts flashing uh, it's red I'd have to look at the instructions again that means your battery's going a bit flat um, this battery is quite a new battery and even when it's fully charged, it, it only gives you 6.2 volts, so that's why this is an, um, only showing uh, yellow. Yellow's not showing. Yellow's not a full charge actually. Yellow's a sort of slightly down indication. But uh, and the, the the other the obviously the other use of the little flashing light there, it uh, it makes people think it's got an anti-theft device on it. Anyway. You might be able to see some of my Bantam Club posters stuck to the wall of my little workshop here. I always uh, look the nice little posters. Uh, there we go, there's some of them stuck to the door. And there's something that my daughter bought me for Christmas. So that, that's actually made of metal, quite a nice. It looks looks like an old enameled uh, plaque, but uh, it's uh, it's quite it's quite modern reproduction. Anyway, there you go. There's a little. Shot of my little BSAB 175. Uh, a nice little machine. Very much enjoy it. Anyway, there you go. I hope, you, I hope someone finds that little charge warning device handy. As I say, it does give you the opportunity to, uh, while you're riding, to make sure that you're, you're not overcharging your battery. Because I've, I've had, uh, happened to me twice now in the past, where the regulator rectifier has failed and the, the, the wet acid battery is. Uh, has overflowed and made a right mess of me silencer so uh, with this thing i can keep a check on the charge and i've checked it with a multi-tester with an amp with a uh, voltmeter and it's it's quite accurate it's quite accurate so Ga gamatronics is the firm that sells them a british company and they, they make them themselves they make all kinds of things actually for motorcycles including a little uh, six volt module which i've got for this which is a uh, does away with the condenser and it just makes turns the points into a simple switch so there's no heavy current going through them so there'll be no erosion of them and they'll virtually last forever a, a set of points uh, i think they're th 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 about 30 quid uh, i haven't actually fitted that yet but it, i've just got it just uh, for next time the condenser fails because the condensers don't seem to last very long these days like most other parts we have to put up with very poor quality uh, anyway the um, Next time the condenser fails, I'm going to fit me uh, Gamatronics 6 volt. It's, it's, it's classed as a semi electronic ignition, but it's not really electronic ignition. It just does away with the points. Uh, sorry, it does away with the condenser and it, 
it, it, it just only puts a low current through the points. The points are just a, a switch. And it's supposed to be much more efficient than a condenser, but uh, so I've not tried it, so uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, hope, hope that was some interest of, uh, to uh, some bantam owners around the world. Always happy to answer any questions. Bye for now. From sunny Cheshire in the United Kingdom.